Dear students, we have learned about data mining, class description and class discrimination problem. And today we will further explore data mining concepts. And with some examples, we will learn further uh, concepts of data mining. So for example, one of the concepts is known as cluster analysis. So it seeks to discover classes. Cluster analysis tries to find properties of data items that lead to discover the grouping. For example, in analyzing information about people's ages who have viewed a particular motion picture, cluster analysis might find that customer base breaks into two age groups. One age group is 0 to 4 age of years and the second group is from 25 to 40 years of age and suppose these two are the parents and their children. So children have watched similar kind of uh, motion pictures like cartoons or drama serial or movies and their parents have watched different kind of uh, motion pictures like for example some discovery channel news similar kind of things. So we do not know that what are those classes. In class discrimination problem previously we discussed we already know that these are two classes that whether user is going to uh, buy the used car or the new one. But here we do not know. We want to uh, basically uh, put them in different clusters based on different properties and those clusters are unknown to us and after grouping uh, based on different properties, uh, the clustering analysis will tell us that these are the two clusters in your data and these they have such kind of similar properties and sharing similar things. So the next thing is association analysis. This involves looking for links between data groups. For example, it is association analysis that might reveal that customers who buy potato chips also buy cold drinks. So you have uh, supermarket data and you have the bill of each customer and after all of the transactions of over for example one year then you are going to identify the patterns from the data that customers have uh, for example purchased potato chips and cold drinks or burger or some cold drink or for example some other grocery with some other fruit something like this so after that uh, how it will be helpful for the shopkeeper or supermarket so it will tell them that you should place all of those things together so customers should be able to find the potato chips and the cold drink placed at the same rack so that the customer do not go or scroll into the whole supermarket so this is the modern area where we can use the data mining and can facilitate the users and then there is another uh, important application of data mining is known as outlier detection or outlier analysis it tries to identify data entries that do not comply with the norms so for example normally uh, there are different characteristics and one of the data is totally uh, lying outside of those characteristics outlier analysis can be used to identify errors in data collection so for example whenever we have error this means that that kind of tuple or record would be completely or majorly different and it can also identify credit card theft by detecting sudden deviation from a customer's normal purchase pattern so for example there is a customer who purchase for example 50,000 uh, uh, purchase different things of 50,000 each month but in one month that customer is purchasing of 500,000 um, amount of money expending on that particular shopping so this means that this particular person is not the normal person he might be someone who has stolen the cord of the actual person and going to use that cord and then there is a sequential pattern analysis tries to identify patterns of behavior over time for example sequential pattern analysis might reveal trends in environmental systems such as climate conditions so if they are going to change it can tell you and then let's summarize today's module 
we have learned different type of data mining concepts, technologies, algorithms, applications, concepts, and we have seen that what is cluster analysis, association analysis, outlier analysis, sequential pattern analysis, and we have seen that where the data mining concepts can help us in the real life.